So question one, y plus two is greater than nine. And when you're solving inequalities, just solve it exactly like an equation. So just imagine that's an equal sign and you're trying to get y by itself. So we have to undo adding two, or we have to get rid of that plus two. How would you get rid of the plus two? Right, how would you undo adding two? Would you subtract two? Okay, and again, it's just like a weighing scale, just like what's all in the equations, where if you subtract two from one side of the weighing scales, you gotta subtract two from the other side, okay? Keep the scales balanced. So that's to have the same um, ex the same inequality. So we have y is greater than and nine minus two is seven. Y is greater than seven, okay? So now we're going to graph this on a number line. And for a number to be greater than seven, how do we graph that on a number line? So y just represents um, a number. And this is just greater than. So, but but there's, can, can you tell me one number that, that y could be to make it greater than seven? How about two, is two greater than seven? Right, so not two, how about three, four? No, any other number, what's greater than seven? How about eight, that's greater than seven, right? Okay. Well, how about what else, what else is greater than seven? Nine, nine is greater than seven? How about 10? How about 11? How about 100? How about a million? How about a billion? So any number in this direction, right, is greater than seven? But, so all these numbers up to, up towards how far, right? And the, the other thing is, you know, how far do you go down? So, I mean, well, all numbers, all the numbers in this direction, and how far can you go on a number line anyway? Can't you just keep going and going and going and going towards positive infinity? You never get to positive infinity, but you can keep going towards it, right? Now, um, in the other direction, we kind of said 8, 9, 10, but how about, are there any kind of, if you think about decimals and fractions, how, what else is greater than 7? How about 7.5? Isn't that greater than 7? 7, 7.5? How about, um, you know, so we got, you know, 7.5. That, that works. How about 7.1? That also works, doesn't it? How about 7.00000001? That also works. That's greater than 7, right? So, um, to represent the fact that um, we're getting as close to 7 as we can, but not including 7, we have this thing called a parenthesis, and it goes in this direction like that, right at 7. See that? Okay? So we go from 7 to positive infinity. So uh, what you got to remember is parenthesis means that the number, like the number 7 here is not included in our set of answers, is not included in our solution set, okay? So parentheses mean not included, right? But square brackets, they mean included, def is included, right? Okay, so if it was greater than or equal to, then we would use a square bracket. So we use the square brackets when we have um, the greater than or equal to or the less than or equal to, right? And not included, we use that when we have less than or greater than, all right? So this is our solution graphed on the number line, um, and, and that's our answer.